Okay, so we've got this uh, 03 Renault Clio here and the uh, symptoms on the car is, is that both the engine management light is on and the emissions light is on and it does start running dry but the, uh, it drives badly basically it's sort of like sluggish, sort of a bit missy, especially pulling away um, etc. So we, we put the uh, scan tool on it and the fault code indicated is P0105 uh, which is um, a map circuit uh, map circuit mal malfunction is defined as so that uh, leads us to sort of suspect the uh, the map sensor here the manifold absolute pressure sensor but before replacing it we did some tests to, uh, that made us actually think well actually this sensor is okay uh, we did some other tests and we managed to diagnose the fault to be actually this bit of wire here uh, which we fixed, but we're just going to um, go through um, the test we did and where we found the fault to be and how we fixed it. Okay, so what we got here firstly is a, is a homemade T pin. So it's basically, as you can see, it's a paper clip that we've opened up and uh, we've used a bit of sandpaper just to take any sharp edges off the um, off the end there. There's two reasons for doing that. One, one, it makes it easier to use and two, it, it sort of makes it less like that we're gonna damage anything. So we're gonna use this to uh, to, to back probe these um, three uh, wire, wire connections here on the back of the uh, the map sensor. And, um, and we're gonna sort of see if we're happy with those readings or not. So we'll get that set up and we'll carry on. So okay, so firstly we're, we're, we're back probing this brown wire here and um, so we, we've got this uh, homemade T-pin inserted uh, and then we're using the, the voltmeter on the 20 volt scale with the, uh, the, the negative connected to battery negative here and the, uh, the positive connected to uh, this T-pin um, this, this and um, with the ignition on uh, the reading we should get you know, uh, uh, that brown wire is the is a five volt reference voltage from the computer, and as you can see, that is correct. We are we are correctly getting that five volt reference uh, voltage there. Okay, so next we're looking at this sort of beige yellow sort of wire. We we we've got that uh, back probed. Every, everything else is is as it was. So still uh, that negative connected to the battery negative and uh, there's the positive just going around on this long lead uh, connected to this and on here we want to see basically a ground but what we've done is we, we put the uh, the this the scale on the voltmeter on a slightly more sensitive scale the reason being is if we were seeing that like just a zero and nothing else it could be that we've got an open on that ground so we don't want to see like an app absolute zero which could indicate an open we want to see like a little bit of voltage but a very low one which is exactly what we're seeing there uh, i think that's about seven thousandths of a volt is it i think it is if i'm interpreting the scales correctly so that means that's a good ground going back to the computer so we're happy with that too okay so next we're on this uh violent uh, violet uh, color wire the middle one and we've got the ignition on but the engine off engine not running and as you can see that signal wire is indicating 4.88 volts which is pretty much in, in roughly what we'd expect it to be indicating uh, with the ignition on and the engine not running so now we're just going to start the engine and see uh, what it reads with the engine running okay so we've got the engine running at idle now and the signal we're getting on that signal wire is just over uh, one, one volt to vary in between about like one and one and a half volt which again is, is pretty much what we would expect to see so okay apolo apologies about the sound quality earlier but uh, even if you weren't able to hear what i was saying um you you, you, you saw earlier that with the uh, with the engine idling uh, it switched off again there but earlier with the engine idling uh, the, the value we're seeing the voltage value on that signal wire was between one and one and a half volts which is what we would expect to see so that leads us to believe that that, that map sensor is actually okay uh, so now we're going to do some more uh, checks to see what the fault could actually be okay so next step was to uh, plug in this uh, this uh, wireless uh, OBD uh, uh, scan, um, reader type thing into the uh, into the uh, car's connector port down there uh, so uh, connected to it uh, using the phone and um, and had a look at the live data and on the live data had a look at what the computer was seeing from that map sensor 
um, what I saw was that uh, the uh, the reading was just it, it was actually uh, the reading was converted into kilopascals. It wasn't a voltage reading, but it was uh, it was ten kilopascals, uh, which is much lower than what it should be. Uh, and also it was it was ten kilopascals all the time. It it wasn't changing up or down. You could rev the engine. You could just switch the engine off and uh, have it idle, whatever. You know, you could go through the same sort of tests that we did earlier when we saw that uh, voltage reading at, on the actual map sensor change. But uh, looking at it through the uh, through this uh, scan tool, that map reading just wasn't changing. It was fixed. Uh, so that led us to suspect that uh, it must be something to do with the wiring between that map sensor and the computer. So then we proceeded back underneath the bonnet to uh, to check the wiring. So the the computer on these uh, little Clio's is actually just here, and uh, so what we did was we uh, we uh, took off the um, the kind of insulation around this part of the wiring loom and we found that there was actually a break in the wire just there because these clears have this rather stupid um theft protection thing on the um on the uh on the computer and this was actually very difficult to get off incidentally i'm going to do a separate video on that to show how how we how we managed to get it off but uh, anyway th this thing kind of effectively rests on the wiring loom and, it, and it, this the top of it here was effectively kind of like vibrating on, on the wiring loom like that and just had, had actually cut that wire through. Uh, so, so, so basically we, we fixed it uh, and in order to fix it by the way we, we, we sort of disconnected this, uh, the connector here uh, and uh, once you've disconnected the connector you can actually unclip this, um, this, uh, this grey bit and uh, once you've done that you can actually uh, also just release some little tabs there and there on this black bit and kind of pull that off as well and that gives you sort of more access to, 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 to more wire in order to do a solder repair. If you try to do it without sort of like taking this grey bit and this plastic bit off uh, what you will find is that uh, you won't have enough wire here to work with so it's um and to take this connector off it's just a matter of like pushing that down and and, and taking it off um so yeah so hopefully um yeah so we did that and uh and after that uh it's it's, it's running much nicer the the lights have gone off and um and it's, and it's a good fix so hope that's helpful bye bye